Yo, what up YouTube? Hey, so today in this video, I'm gonna be discussing my experience buying a used Tesla from Tesla and the process and timeline on from when I purchased the Tesla to the delivery day. Another point I'm gonna be discussing is why I didn't buy a new Tesla and how much money you can save buying a used Tesla. And at the end of this video, I'll be showing you how much I saved in total by going the used car route. So I've been wanting to buy a Tesla for probably about maybe a couple years, but the price that they were selling Teslas at back in like 2021, where there was a chip shortage and everybody was going crazy over Teslas was just way too much for me and my family. Uh, and for our budget. So I kind of just waited for a while. 2023 just seemed like the right year to buy one and um, the prices were dropping. They were dropping drastically. I read on Reddit post that somebody back in 2022 paid 79,000 for um, their Model Y. Only had enhanced autopilot. So if they say they added another 6,000 to that, they would have been paying 85,000 for that Model Y. And I was like, oof, that's kind of crazy for a Model Y. Anyways, so I looked at the prices of a new Model Y with everything, the white color, white seats, um, with full self-driving, it came out to about 68,872. Um, that was with taxes and everything, including the FSD, I'm sorry, including the 7,500 tax rebate. When I looked at the used inventory, I saw one that was priced at 52,100. Uh, actually, it was 52.5. Um, I went to sleep. The next morning, I woke up. It was 52.1 um, or something like that. One thing I was really scared about buying used was not being able to see the car. So that was kind of scary for me. I didn't know what I was getting into. All I know is that it, they're like refurbished, certified. They go around and do the five-point uh, inspection. They make sure the tires are good. They make sure the battery is, is good. Everything in here is cleaned up and everything. Um, but yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with what we got. Um, everything in this car was pretty immaculate, except for there was a slight stain here from, I guess, where the previous owner spilled some coffee. And in the back right tire, there's a gash in the uh, um, rim. And you can see on the video, um, my previous video on our delivery day and how that experience was. So during my research, I found that if you are tracking a used inventory or something that is used, you can kind of see the price drop on a certain one. You can watch the VIN number, you can kind of check and see. I did my research after the fact that I purchased one. I was looking at this other one that had FSD. It had black seats. I didn't want the black seats. On December 3rd, it started at 63600 December 7th, I looked at it again. The price was five or 61500 December 8th, the price dropped down again, 61200 December 9th, it dropped down to 60700 December 11th, it was 59600 December 13th, 58600 December 14th was weird. It kind of went up like $200. But anyways, December 15th, it dropped back down to 57900 and after that i didn't see it so it was on the market for about 12 days um getting its price drop and then somebody eventually bought it as you can see it's pretty easy to kind of track um, one that you want but you gotta um, be wary there's a bunch of people who are trying to get into the ev market and they're trying to buy used because it fits their budget so um, it, when you're tracking one, um, you kind of it's kind of a gamble. You might see one that fits your description, the color that you want, the specs you want. Maybe you want the tow bar. You can filter all those things out. Right now, I didn't really see too much inventory with white seats. A lot of people are kind of hesitant to buy white seats uh, because they're kind of scared that it's going to get stained. But I never have had a problem, and I have three kids, um, and all you got to do is take some baby wipes. Um, I got. Uh, some uh griette's garage odor neutralizing leather cleaner and it has been awesome for cleaning up anything that has been on the seats so so all in all you can save quite a bit of money going the used route um, a lot of people are scared to go the used route because they just don't know what they're getting into but 
Tesla offers a 10,000 um, mile and an extra year warranty on top of the basic warranty. So this car had 10,000 miles. I saved quite a bit of money just by going the used route by having somebody else drive the car for me for a year and then take the depreciation uh, on the car and I was able to get FSD. Um, the whole point in getting a Tesla, I think, um, is, is having the FSD feature. Um, if you don't get uh, FSD on a Tesla, you're missing out because it is just a breeze to drive down to um, Portland or, or those two hour drives. Um, just It's very relaxing just knowing that the car is gonna drive itself uh, for you. Um, it's not the best, but version 12 is coming out um, here soon. And I've heard really good things and I've seen a lot from whole Mars catalog. Um, he is the first guy I've seen that has the FSD beta 12.1.2 and I've seen really good things from just watching his videos. So yeah, if you want to see our Model Y delivery day video, go ahead and just check back. I'll put a link up here to the video of our delivery day. Our used Tesla buying experience was pretty amazing. The uh, guy who helped us out was pretty awesome at um, answering any questions and being very courteous, making sure that we had enough tire tread. So in this part of the video, I'm going to be revealing you guys my motor vehicle um, agreement with Tesla and it's going to show you the taxes, how much I paid for the vehicle, the delivery fee and everything there. So here's the timeline of when I purchased it and to when I got it. I ordered it December 1st at 3 o'clock in the morning because I couldn't sleep. As you can see it was $52,100 plus the transport fee of $1,000. I immediately got a text and they told me to do everything to the app. So I opened up the app and I pretty much got all the stuff done, got my registration, I told them I was doing a trade-in, got my third party financing done, and then this other stuff was kind of grayed out, made sure you have insurance, your down payment and delivery day and final review agreements. All this stuff is pretty intuitive, you can kind of see what your purchase uh, agreement is in the app as well, but they also send you a paper form. Well, actually, it's in a PDF format and it comes in your email. December 8th, I got a text message saying, hey, your vehicle is en route and should be there on the 10th. And I was like, wow, that's pretty fast. And December 10th, the day that it arrived, they were like, oh, yeah, you're ready for delivery day. So I clicked the link and December 13th was the only day available. And I chose 11 a.m. And once you've confirmed your appointment, you can add it to your calendar if you have an iPhone. On December 12th, I got another text message saying, reply yes to confirm your Tesla Model Y delivery. And so I replied yes. And here is a picture of our delivery day. So thanks again for watching this video, guys. I'm pretty happy with the price point. And if you got a better deal than me, than going new or used, let me know um, down in the comments down below the price you paid, because I'm kind of curious, like if anyone else has gotten a better deal than I have, or if um, I, you think I paid way too much, let me know um, what you guys think. Um, I think I saved quite a bit. I mean, I feel like I saved roughly $9,324 going the used route versus buying new. Um, I mean, I have an extra year, an extra 10,000 uh, miles on my basic warranty. So I pretty much have a 60,000 uh, six year warranty on this. And um, it's basically new to me. Thanks again for watching. You guys have a great day and stay blessed. Peace.